What's up, family? It is none other than your boy, Jay Giddens, the father. As usual, remember to be positive, be optimistic, and keep positive people in your circle as those three things are key to ensuring positivity is invited in your future. The purpose of this video today is to share with you guys um, what um, recently happened when I went and made the state aware of the abduction of my two eldest daughters. Right, and the purpose of me doing this video, um, the purpose of me vlogging what is going on as I'm going through this process is because, like I say in all my videos, or in a lot of my videos, since I've been going through this, there are so many other fathers that I know of. Um, what's up, Chandra? There's so many other fathers that I know of that are going through the same thing I'm going through, and I'm letting y'all know today I have the resolution for you. Um, unless you are not willing to stand up and do what you need to do as a father, because a lot of the things that I'm doing, you got to understand, you can't just be like a a weekend dad or a half-ass dad to to do. All right, so make sure if you're willing to do the things that I'm about to show you how to do, that you standing on it and you taking care of your your children. Okay. So I went and filed, um, and my uh, my daughter's mother was actually charged with abduction. So I'm about to show you guys. They just put it up today. Uh, she has been officially charged with four counts. So she has two counts of abduction, and she has two counts of, I think, detaining a minor within the state. Um, and I want to show you guys how this, how, this, how this worked, right? And I'm going to first show you how to look it up. So again, anytime that you, you know, for my for my fellow fathers out there, um, if you're not in the state of Maryland, if you're not in the state of Maryland, you want to find your state's um, case search, right? So for Maryland, you just type in MDK search, right? <clears throat> and I actually happen to have the, the actual complaint number here. So this is the CCN number. Whenever you file a complaint or you're um, charging somebody, they ask you for a CCN number, which is basically the response for the police officer. Um, the police were actually called out to the scene for all of my people who like to ask me, for all of my people who like to ask me, why didn't you call the police? Why didn't you call the police? Here's, here's your evidence right here. I called the police. This is the CCN number from the police call. I called the police multiple times, but this is the particular time that they decided to charge her for. I mean, they charged her for another one as well, but let's, let's go ahead and, let's go ahead and see though. But this is the complaint number, D08CR24. 004868 okay so let's go ahead and put that in i want to see what this comes up with okay if you're out there and you have somebody else's children i just want to say please return them to their parent if they're asking you for them i know that a lot of times we disagree with the way another parent may be raising their child um, we may you know feel like we could do a better job at it but in those cases there are avenues for you to follow my apologies y'all this c is not coming up c uh, in those in those situations where you may feel like somebody else's child is not being cared for adequately or you feel like you can do a better job, the correct answer is not to go and abduct that child and then take them from the other parent and say, yeah, I'm going to do this myself. You know, you don't want to do that because <clears throat> there are laws against that. And we're about to go over that now. So, you know, that's not the proper way to do that. If you guys are in the middle of a um, custody battle, and this is the this is the case number. We're about to pull it up, but before we pull it up, let me just say this to my fathers and my mothers out there, to parents: if you are in the middle of a custody battle, and the other parent has custody, I'm telling you this from personal experience. I'm about to show you: if you are in the middle of a custody battle and the other parent has custody, do not take it upon yourself to say, "I don't care what the order says. I'm going to do what I want to do," unless you have a thousand percent proof and evidence of <clears throat> there being an immediate danger or harm to the child if you did not take them, right? So, like, if you saw somebody with their child and they're about to, like, strike the child with a knife or something, they're about to hurt the child, and you take that child and take it away from that parent with the intent to try to get it to a hospital or get it to a, a, a you know, police station or something, that is adequate. That is, that is, that makes sense. You were saving the child, you know, that is, that's, that would be something that would be grounds for not being considered abduction. And we're going to go over the statute and what they apply. But if you do not have that right, do not do it. Do not do it because the penalties are pretty steep. All right. But look, this is the, this is the um, police report number. 
And police reports are public information, FYI, so you can see what was in the police report. And uh, case numbers are as well. So we're going to pull this up, right? So when we pull this up, what does it come up with? All right. What do we have? Criminal. State of Maryland. As of today. As of today. So what I wanted to go over specifically, though, because what really is bothersome about this is that for the last maybe, what, two years, three years, two years or so, I've been having people tell me that I've been lying, that I'm making it up. But what you got to know is that in order for these charges to be filed, a commissioner had to be given proof. You know what I mean? Like a commissioner had to be given proof and evidence for them to file charges. You know what I'm saying? They don't they don't file these unless, you know what I mean? Um now the good news is for her, I mean, this is classified as a misdemeanor as you see, but the bad news is this is classified as criminal. So this is a criminal case of detaining children in the state. That's why it says I N S T. So detaining children in the state and abducting children. So so we know I'm not lying now, right? So we know I'm not lying now, right? Because there's no way that they would have charged her and gave her criminal charges. Now she's going to have a trial. She's going to have a trial. She's going to have a trial. Now, I want to tell you all something. The, the way they was able to charge this is through this right here. Because she committed an act that's prohibited in Maryland. And when you commit an act that's prohibited in the state, you practically open your ass up to get locked up. You're just asking them to do it because you're in the state violating, right? You can't do it out of the state either. But if you do it in the state, right? Right? And this one applies too. Harbor or hide the child. Now, listen, the reason that she was, the reason that she was charged with abduction Instead of kidnapping, is because she's a relative. Right? Now, there's another person involved in this who is not a relative to them. And has no relation to them. He would be considered kidnapping if I charge him. Right? Right? So, so this is a pretty dangerous game to play if you are... Um, somebody who's looking to take somebody's kids from them. I just, like I said, I just, I just want to, and, and to my other fathers out there, I want y'all to see that this is what's going to happen. So if you go down to, you can, so I went to the commissioner, right? The reason that the police don't want to get involved is because a lot of times they don't want to do this. Like they don't, they don't want to do this and they don't want to seem like the bad guy. Like, you know what I'm saying? To do this to a mother because it, it does suck to do this to a mother. Like, you know, for, 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 for a mother to have to get abduction charges, you know? But you know what sucks more? For a mother to be found guilty of abusing her children and have those children taken from her by the state and then have her take them back against the will without any reason. That's also pretty egregious. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, when you're, when you're in a position where you're doing that type of shit, you invite that type of shit to you. So while this is... This is a pretty fucked up thing to have abduction charges put on you because everywhere is going to see this. And they said they had probable cause. So this means that they thought they, that it was true. See, this would say no if, if I was just claiming it and they have to investigate. This means they already, you know what I'm saying? They, they already believe like, nah, this ain't right. And I tried, bro. Like, I listen, I don't want to. I tried, bro. It's not, it's not, I didn't do nothing. I Look, I tried, bro. This shit says very clearly, father shall have sole legal custody. I reached out. Let me show y'all some of the evidence. Let me show y'all, you know, just a, just, a, just a quick little tidbit of evidence from my other people, uh, from my other people who may, um, you know, like my other fathers who may be wondering like, well, well, what, what's going on? How do you do that? Like, let me just show you an example of an email. So look, here's an email, right? This is dated August 25th of 2023. So this was about a year ago. I emailed her and said, Grand Rising, I have enrolled the girls in their virtual schooling and they need to be brought to me at a police station 
in the next 24 to 48 hours so they can start preparing for school. I will give you my new address when we exchange. I emailed her that a year ago. She never re- she never replied to it. This is to my lawyer because I you know because I because I I sent my lawyer a bunch of stuff so he got proof file case because we filing contempt charges as well. That's that's another thing. So this the crazy thing is this this right here these abduction charges are just icing on the cake. This actually is not even what um, this is just unfortunately what I guess she was asking for by saying. I don't care about the order. I'm just going to take the kids. So this was just what she was asking for. But in addition to that, we need to file contempt charges because the contempt is what will um, completely modify the order. Um, Because going forward, um, we need to be we need to be sure that all the individual parties involved in this custody case are aware that the law matters. Right. Because right now. There's an extreme amount of evidence that one side of the party does not have any respect for the law. And anytime you find yourself in a situation um, where somebody needs to be retaught that level of respect, it's normally going to come in the form of either jail time or it might come in the form of classes, you know, maybe like some um, some 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 some. Um, psychiatric classes to help you understand what the damage of removing a child from their parent is because some people actually can't understand that like especially somebody who's never had a relationship with their own biological parent like especially a father someone who has never had a strong relationship with their own biological father they they have a hard time grasping why someone else would want to like, you know what I mean? So they, they have no respect for it. So, you know, unfortunately, the mother of my uh, two eldest daughters, she has no respect for the place of a father, um, not a biological one. She just has respect for the place of a man who is assuming the position of a father, like some man who's paying the bills. That's a father to her, like like a father. And this is why. it's it's necessary for real fathers to be in children's lives, because a father is not some idiot who sits in the background of Instagram videos putting a middle finger up, you know what I'm saying, of a young child's video. That's not a father. That's a delinquent. That's that's somebody who's actually enabling the child to become worse and teaching them bad habits. That's not a father. A father's not somebody who just pays all the bills and buys you new iPhones. That's, you know, unfortunately, that's not, that's not a father. Um, a father's not somebody who just let you wear whatever you want to and tell you whatever is okay just because they want to, you know, that's not a father. A father is able to look you in your eyes and say things to you that nobody else can say to you. You know, a father is able to have you do something to crush him and he still love you because a father loves you unconditionally. You know what I'm saying? A stepfather does not love you unconditionally. Because first of all, all of his love for you was on one condition to begin with. Him fucking your mother. <laughs> My apologies, I should say it in a better way. Him having sexual relations with your mother. So anyone who has, you know, like a, a stepdad at the end of the day, the entire precipice of which our relationship was based on the fact that he was he was he was having sex with your mother. You know? Your biological father though. You came from him. So regardless of if he stops having sex with your mother, he has a relationship, whatever his relationship with your mother is irrelevant because your connection to him is one that's genetic. You know what I mean? Like a lot of people really don't understand that. Like you can't, a father and a stepfather differ greatly. And a lot of people, because it hurts so bad to not have a father, they want to give this unvalidated um, credibility to stepfathers. Like, um, you know, well, you know, because it hurts to say you don't have a father. So you just want to fill that gap. So you just say, he's my step, you know, but nobody takes the place of a father. I don't care what bills you paying. I don't care what you're doing. Because from a spiritual level, my soul is connected to those that come from me. You know what I mean? My actual spermatoid genes inside of me, they pull from my DNA. You have something called RNA and DNA, right? That literally comes out of your blood and goes into sperm cells. So when you come, that's you, you know? So when you put you into somebody and then that comes out as a baby, that's you in there. Some guy can't come and start paying BGE bills and then say that's his now. That's not how that works because what if the world ends? 
How do you know who's the dad? There's no bills to pay. How do you know who's the dad? You know who's the dad by who you stand next to and you magnetically gravitate to because your blood is the same. You know what I'm saying? The people who's who who literally feel you. Like, you know what I mean? Um, now, if you don't have a father because, you know, say he, you know, he died, he's absent or he just doesn't love you, he's unfit, then I do think that it's good to have a stepfather in place of that. But again, I don't want anybody who, I don't want any children or any parents who have children to think that if you are supplying your child with a stepfather, that you are adequately pro providing them with the fathering that they need. That is incorrect. A stepfather cannot replace a father. And that's and I and I really and it sucks that I'm saying that because it seems like I'm being biased because there's some guy who's claiming that he's the father of my children. Like, you know what I'm saying? And and they you know what I'm saying? So but it but it's not but he's also keeping me from them and also like threatening me and also doing all the things that a real man would never do. Like it's, so it's just weird. So it's like my children are gonna have this ideology that a man is a nigga that would tell another man that he can't see his kids. Like, that's not what a man is. Like, you know what I'm saying? And it's very important for that to be established in a child's life at an early age. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, but like I said, for my uh, for my fathers out there who may be still watching, who, who making it through, you know, these are the kind of, um, hold up. <clears throat> these are the kind of emails you want to let, let me show you. Like, these are the kind of, things you want so look here's here's another email i sent this email march 28th right so that was about what three months ago a little bit over three months ago i sent this email to her right and what does it say grand rising back in august during a phone call with one of the girls they informed me that you had moved them to a, a new address please provide me with the address that you moved the girls to and any other addresses that they have been to since right she didn't respond. She ignored it. Right? Another one. Grand Rise, and I would like the girls to come home. I will meet you at a police station precinct in the next 24 to 48 hours. Please let me know what station is best for you. No response. I sent that, what, three weeks ago? Two weeks ago? Today's July 16th? 12 days ago. My apologies. Two weeks ago I sent that. Right? So I gave her 24 to 48 hours here. Did I, did I not, right? See, the problem is she's under the impression that, that they're her kids. And that's the problem. But gave 24 to 48 hours here. Did I not? Gave 24 to 48 hours here. You know what I'm saying? Gave 24 to 48 hours here. Did I not? Okay. And what does the law say? What does the law say? Prohibited acts. What does it say? If a child under the age of 16 years... A relative who knows that another person is the lawful custodian of the child may not deprive the lawful custodian of custody of the child. Who's the lawful custodian? Who's the lawful custodian? I mean, this shit is not rocket science. I don't know how how they over this motherfucker. They bro, they over that motherfucker taking pictures and shit. Like like you don't got somebody child in your house. Like 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 you got them kids, bro. I have sole custody of them kids. Why y'all got them kids in your house? But anyway, they gonna have to explain that to them. But um. They're, they're claiming that I gave them to them, though. Like, they, I don't know why they, they saying that I gave them to them and I was saying I was broke or whatever. Like, if that was the case, I damn sure wouldn't have gave them to somebody that was abusing them to begin with. So, let me show y'all the charges. What's up, um, what's up, Angie? What's up, Angela? I appreciate you for coming in. Let me show you the, let me show you the charges. And first of all, let me, let me make this clear. I don't, under any circumstances, think it's cute to be charging somebody. I don't want anybody to go through this. I just want my people out there who want to take other people's children to know that you can't just do that, bro. Like, if you know, if there's somebody out there and you don't like how they're raising their child, you can't just take their child from them. Like, just so that you know you can file a motion. You know what I'm saying? You can file... <laughs> she said, hey, brother, what's up, girl? You can file a motion to modify. You can report them to your local agency, CPS. You can do all of those things. But what you can't do is just take the child. Because if you do, this happens. Right? So, look, there's four charges. Charge number one, detaining a child in state. Right? It's classified as a misdemeanor. Now, granted, it's still criminal, though. So, that's, that's a bad look. It's a bad look to have a criminal charge of abduction. So you got one criminal charge of detaining a child, a second criminal charge of, it's covered up because the screen is messing up. There's a second charge there. I think the second charge is, um, I think the second charge is detain a child, right? Third charge is abduct child, right? 
and fourth charge abducting child. So you got four charges already. Now you see, you know what the power in this is? You know what the power in this is? Because they've been playing with me about my kids for a while. But guess what? Next time I say bring me my kids, I bet they be back. Mm, see? Niggas want to play with you. See? Because I'm not going to do all of this and all of that stupid shit and get myself locked up and all of that. I love my family. I love my children. I'm not going to gonna gonna risk my freedom. What are we talking about? You know what I'm saying? With you fools. But I'll tell you this. They're going to stop playing with me about my kids. Because what we're what we not going to do, what we're not going to do is, is pretend that your boy ain't fight for custody. Upon consideration of the testimony presented and evidence admitted, I was given sole legal custody. Why the fuck they do that? That's my question. Why they do that? And for anybody who want to know, anybody who want to know, anybody who question this stuff, boom, let's pop, let's pop this out. Because you got to understand, I stay ready. My lawyer told me he was he he don't want to get on my bad side. <laughs> I stay ready. This is the whole case detail. Everything right here. I could break everything that happened for the last 10 years down to you. Look at this. All of this. Right? Right? Now, I told y'all that I was given temporary custody in 2020, right? Didn't I? Didn't I? So this should reflect that, right? This is when I was given... Look, this is when I was given sole custody. Now, look what they was, look what they was doing. Deep Creek Middle School, right? They were subpoenaing documents. Now, I got sole custody here, February 4th. I said January 29th, but that's because they didn't put it into the 24th. But this is where I got sole custody. My daughter's lived with me since then, bro. She telling people, I ain't take care of my kids. I don't have them, all this other shit. I gave them to her. My kids live with me since then. She barely even got them. And I got tons more emails to prove that. But anyway, that's going to be for court. I can't, wait to, I can't wait to pull out all that shit. But I want y'all to see this. Look. See that? Shepherd Pratt. See where it says Shepherd Pratt subpoena? Everybody know what Shepherd Pratt is, right? My children were in, in the mental institution. I told y'all that. Everybody telling me that I'm lying and making stuff up, bro. That's what's messed up. People even went to a point where they want to attack me, bro. Like, they want to attack me and hurt me because I'm trying to tell y'all that she was fucking abusing my daughters, bro. Both of my daughters attempted suicide. Let me say that again. Let me, let me say that again. Both of my daughters attempted suicide, bro. What the fuck? Like, my daughter told me she came... My youngest daughter told me she had to come downstairs and stop Journey... I'm listen, let me let me stop. Let me stop. Let me stop. What I'm saying is this. What I'm saying is this. The fact that people would go this far to protect her, bro. When I have so much evidence, nobody would ask me. Look at this. Look at this. Mars Estates, they pulled all the school records. Right? Yeah, and my and not to mention also, she didn't give me any support for the kids when I got them. What are we talking about? And then she talking about she filing against me, bro, trying to say, like, oh, I don't help her with the kids. You not supposed to have them, shorty. What is wrong with you? Yo, the, ain't the, don't that sound like slightly slightly retarded? She said, he don't help me with the kids. You not supposed to have him. Get that man back his kids and mind your business, shorty. They got took from you. You forgot that? They got took from you upon consideration of the evidence. So apparently that was forgotten. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, hey. Hey Angie, I feel you. She said always had and uh, always had mine and always fought. Oh, you said always had and had fought for your kids since day one. That's a fact. And Angie, listen, Angie been on me. Listen, let me give a personal shout out to Angie. I love you, Angie. One love to you because Angela been on me since I was probably sixteen. How old was I, Angie? About fifteen. I've been, I've been knowing her since I was about 15, 16, before I knew anything about anything. When I was a little virgin, scared to do anything, you know what I'm saying? I knew Angie. She know me. She could come to fucking court and testify. Fucking, she know me. Like, you know what I'm saying? She done ate, listen, she done ate breakfast with me and the girls. We went to IHOP together. Oh, 15. She said 15. She done ate breakfast with me and the girls. We met her at the IHOP out White Marsh and we all ate breakfast together. How the fuck that happened? I never took care of my kids, right? I never had them, right? How the fuck that happened? She know better. She know that. But if you go to, this is the thing that, yo, you have to really understand how crazy of a polarity it is. If you go on my baby mother page, yo, they on there telling her, yeah, girl, you a great mother. Fuck him. I'm sorry. You got to deal with a sorry ass nigga like that. Oh, he a piece of shit ass father. They need to beat the shit out of him. Fuck him. I ain't never want a nigga hurt so bad in my life. They, they over there saying all of that shit. That's crazy. That's crazy. They saying that about me, bro. And meanwhile... 
they pulled all of this stuff and took custody from her. And people over there, they over there bigging her up, telling her that she the greatest mother alive. And she got custodies taken from her. Taken from her. Now look, this is how, now I want to show y'all, look. Now I want to show you how disingenuous she is, right? Let me show you how disingenuous she is. And, and when you say disingenuous, you mean somebody's doing something from a bad place trying to be sneaky. Let me show you how disingenuous she is. I have emails to show you me and her was in communication the whole time. She went and filed. She went and filed trying to get the kids behind my back without telling me. Look, see all of these right here where they say return, dismissal. You see all of these where it's back to back, back to back, right? She was filing trying to get custody without me responding. Let me see if I can go back to it. Hold on. It was 2023. Let me see where she put in a look. See right here? Motion to modify filed. Now she filed this March 21st of 2023. She filed this after she was keeping them from me already. Like she filed this after she claiming that I gave them to her. But me and her was talking to each other. I got emails during that time between us. So th this is what I'm saying. It doesn't make sense. And the thing that really hurts me more than anything. You said it was March. Of, yeah. The thing that doesn't. That hurts me more than anything bro. Is that nobody on the other side. Like on her side. They. First of all. I know a lot of the people on her side. Because I grew up. Kind of grew up with her. And around her. I was with her for almost 10 years. Like you know what I'm saying. None of them have had enough respect for me. To like call me and ask me nothing. Like that. To be honest with you, bro, that shit hurt. Like, cause everybody on her side, bro, they watched me take care of this girl, bro. I've been knowing her since she was like 14 years old. Like they watched me take care of her, watched her cheat on me over and over again, watched me be stupid for her, watched me keep having babies with her, watched me, you know what I'm saying? Like they watched me be there and I was always there for the kids though. Even if they was like, yo, this nigga stupid. I don't know why he stayed with her. They knew I was always there for the kids. And now fast forward. They, they won't even ask me, like, yo, well, what's going on? Why is it that blah, 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 blah? They just jump on her side and be like, yeah, fuck him, blah, 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 and leave it at that. Now, let me show you. This is where I was given. Look, she kept the kids from me. Look, do you know she kept the kids from me during the, during the, during the time that they was doing the investigation? Let me show you. So, look, this is when they started the investigation. See where it says interim consent order on July 22nd? This is the interim order that the, the judge gave me and, and said for me to have custody of the children while they were conducting the investigation. See, so I had temporary custody and my, this is our two lawyers, right? So I had temporary custody issued July of 2020, right? And then they started pulling all of this, supporting documents, supporting documents, Right. They submitted a motion to request, right? This is this means they was they was they was requesting information, right? Right? They was pulling the school records, all of that, right? And then after they pulled it, I apologize if I keep going over the same thing. Yeah, I just want people to know what's going on, bro, because she she getting people here, bro, and they just they just be like, Yeah, you don't know what you you're just trying to hurt her. You just jealous, you just hate, you just miserable. And I'll be like, bro, why the fuck would you think that, bro? Yeah, she started keeping them in August. Right, right, right. She started keeping them in August because what happened was they gave me temporary custody of them in July. And then when they started school, she just kept them. And like, the thing is, whenever she just kept my children, bro, and I'm so, and I'm so, oh yeah, September, yeah, 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 it was when school started. I'm so glad that I've never stooped to her level. Like, every time that she's kept the kids from me, I never got on no shit. Oh shit, I'm about to come fight and take my kids. Like, I never got on no shit like that. I just be like, really? So that's that's how you're going to do? All right, so I can't see my kids. And I document it. And then I realized once we went to court and I seen how she lied, bro. She went to court and completely lied. Like, she went to court and even lied on my mother. Now, mind you, my mother is on her side now. They 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 friends now. But back when we first started, when we had our first trial. Let me show y'all because I'm not making shit up. I'm not making shit up. When we had our first trial, which was in 2017, let me show you. Let me show you, cause none of this shit is made up. None of this shit is made up. Every I got, I can, I can show you everything. This is when my mother started getting on her side around 2018. But before this, before she got on her side, right? When we had, we had a trial. I think it was May of 2017. See this right here? May trial hearing concluded. 
May 8th, right? That trial, my mother was on my side. This trial, my mother was on my side. And if anybody and if anybody want me to prove it, I'll go pull the transcripts. I'll go ask for the transcripts. It's it's like a hundred dollars. It's not a whole lot. I'll go ask for the transcripts and I'll pull all of the transcripts and I'll show you that my mother was there. And on top of that, I'll show you where she said during that trial that my mother never did nothing for her, never helped her with nothing. And that's insane because she was living with my mother. Like, you know what I'm saying? And then and then now the reason I want to say that that's important is because after that. Right. After she did that, like lied on my mother, said that my mother never helped her and all of that in court. My mother joined forces with her and pretended nothing happened. You know what I'm saying? Pretended nothing happened. Pretended nothing happened, man. So this is where we are now. Um, This is where we are now. Now we are. Let's see what they did now. This is the most recent thing on here. July 8th, notice of restricted information. So look, let me tell you all something about what they did. Right. So they submitted. She got her lawyer. I guess her her lawyer didn't know that I had a lawyer. (laughs) Or they probably thought that I didn't have one, right? So she tried to hit me with this thing called Discovery, right? Let me show y'all what Discovery is. For all my people who watching this, I hope y'all are, um, you know, notice of Discovery, right? So Discovery, Discovery is something that lawyers like to do against clients that don't have a lawyer. Because it, it frazzles the person and makes it hard for them. It gives them a long list of shit that they got to give you, like their addresses for the last five, ten years, everywhere they worked at, everybody they knew, how many this they had, how much money they spent on this, how much did they make this year, where were they, you know what I'm saying? It's like this long list of stuff. And if you implicate, you could implicate yourself in it because the answers you give, you're going to be held accountable for. It's kind of like perjury if you lie, or at least it's, 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 it's considered in the evidence, right? So they did that to me, and my lawyer told me, well, we could do it back to them. Now, the thing is, I wouldn't have known that. Like, me just as a client, I would have been like, oh, man, they got this discovery thing, and I would have left it alone. Like, damn, man. But I had a lawyer, and my lawyer mentioned to me that he was he was pretty sure that was done to try to try to get an upper hand on me. And now that it wasn't to their advantage, it's actually to their disadvantage now because now they have to do the same thing because <laughs> he fired back. So um, at this point, we're waiting for a discovery. So that's one That's one thing. Um, right now, we have a trial that's, that, that uh, I think is coming up in November. I'm trying to see if it was written on here. But I think we got a trial in November because we had a conference on June 21st, right? And... <clears throat> Yeah, we so when we had this, when we went to this conference, or we had this conference, it was virtual actually, Let's see, remote magistrate. Um, when we had this conference, um, we ordered, yeah, family services, yeah, because I, I, you know, at this point, we need to have a full investigation. I want everything investigated, everything. I didn't already screenshot it and screen recorded stuff that's inappropriate, you know, that, that I've seen online with my daughter already. Um, starting with one of the, the picture of the, the, the stupid nigga that, that's around my daughter doing like this. <laughs> fuck is you doing that with a young girl for in a video? The fuck is you teaching that to a little girl for? Like, what the fuck is going to benefit my daughter about this? Who the fuck teach they child that? That's some silly ass shit. These motherfuckers go to church. Fuck is you in a video? Why the fuck is you on a picture with a young minor child going like this? Or, or putting your middle finger up and all that shit? Like I said... Watch who you have your children around. You know what I'm saying? Everybody is not there. Not enough to, to be able to raise children. Some people still have not grown out of their own childhood. So they look at children and they want to be friends with them. Like they look at children and they want to be a child too. Because they haven't grown up. Like they, You know what I'm saying? Like some people, they literally haven't gotten over these, you know, these urges they have to just be um, unpredictable, irresponsible. Like, just, you know what I'm saying? Just not care about nothing. And that's a dangerous thing when you start teaching that to a child. Because a child will actually believe you if they trust and believe that you're telling them the right thing. Right? That's all I got, man. Um, Yeah. I'm actually about to go live on my... For, for anybody who makes it through this video and watch it back, make sure to follow the Jay Gins the Paralegal page. Because um, I'm going to go live on there. But when I go live on there, I'm going to try to keep it... Um, 
not so personal and talking about my situation, I'm going to keep it to uh, the processes, what to do, like, you know, going to the commissioner um, or the state's attorney, how to gather your evidence, how to know what <clears throat> what um, laws apply to what your situation is, you know, how to word it and, and explain it. Because when you're when you're filing charges, you have to speak the court's language like, you know, what I'm saying you don't say, hey, yo, she took my child. You know, what I'm saying you say. The unlawful custodian, you know, or. You know, you say a person unlawfully carried away my child to insert place within Maryland. Like, you get what I'm saying? You have to, like, fill in how they fit. It's kind of like, <laughs> it's kind of like filling the blanks. So some people, when they break the law, they really like some, listen, some people, when they break the law, they literally break the law to a T. Like they literally break the law to a T. They will take and carry away a child from the lawful custodian to a place in the state. Or they will acquire possession of the child, detain the child for more than 48 hours after the custodian demands them. I mean, that's pretty straightforward, right? So <laughs> this is why it's so important for you to fight for custody. All my fathers, you got to understand, this is what having custody gives you the power to do. This is also what allowing the other party to get custody against you allows them to do and you don't want to do that like so if you're a father that's why i always tell you the last thing you want to do is go putting your hands on somebody trying to go blah 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 because you will lose custody and once you lose custody you lose your children you know what i'm saying you have to really understand that when you lose custody that's important i think that's one thing unfortunately that the other party to my custody case did not um really realize like when they lost custody on January of 2021, you lost your children. Like, that wasn't, like, a small thing. I don't even think they really processed what happened. It was probably like, whatever, we just had court, whatever. Like, you literally had your rights taken from you. And that's why she felt so emboldened. That's why she felt so emboldened to take the children away from me. Because she thought she was a custodial parent. But you're not. You're not. You're not. You're not. I don't know why her lawyer didn't tell her this. You're not, bro. You're not. <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know what... How more clear... Bro, how do you make this more clear? Father shall have... Father, father shall seriously... Let's put a carrot and write... Seriously, we mean it this time, okay? Next time, we not going to play with you, okay? Like, somebody write this to this person. Like, why do these people think that that they got my kids? Like, they, they over there, like, chilling. Silly. Silly rabbit. Tricks are for kids. I wouldn't even play. I, like, I don't even know why you would do that, bro. I would be completely uncomfortable. Now, listen, let me show y'all one last thing before I go. <clears throat> and this is the complaint filed, just so that y'all know. This is the complaint filed right here. So that's the statement of charges. Okay. That's case number there. Y'all can look that up. But let me let y'all see. Let me let y'all see <clears throat> this, right? This is what will apply if somebody who is not the mother of my children, play with me. I want to be clear. I want to be clear. I want to be clear. If anybody play with me about my children as it relates to where they are, communicating with them, any of that, this will apply to you. And I'm not going to not file. So I'm, I'm, just, I'm just letting everybody know, like, so don't play with me about my children. And to any other parents out there, to any other parents out there who may, you know, um, to any to any other parents out there who may be in a situation where somebody has taken your children, you are asking for them back, and they are refusing to give your children back. It doesn't matter what the reason is, bro. They do not have right to just take your child. Like they can't say, "Well, you." You ugly. I don't. I don't like where you live at. I don't. They can't say that. Like they have to actually go and prove it. Like they have to actually go to court, 
file a modification, go get a trial. There's going to be evidence admitted. They're going to have to prove it. Now, they can reach out to local authorities and things, but they can't just take your child, okay? If they are not a relative, this is what it is, Section 3503. So if you are in Maryland and somebody takes your child, you go to the commissioner or you go to the state's attorney. I mean, you can call the police as well, but if you want to handle the case yourself, you can do that. I'm all for people handling things by themselves. I'm not one of those people who believes in having somebody do everything for you. Like, that's why I do everything myself. As you, you know, as you see, not everything, but I do a lot of things. I like to learn it, right? But we see what this law says. A person may not without color of right. Now, when they say without color of right, they're, they're referring to, like, um, anything that would give them legal reasoning to to want to do that, right? So, like, for instance... If a police officer were to take or carry away a child from their home or unusual place of abode, they would have color of right because they have reason to do that. Like, that makes sense. You know what I'm saying? Um, But if you have no rights over the child and you are not a relative of them, this will apply to you without the consent of the child's parent or legal guardian. And my children only have one legal guardian. Do we need a reminder? Because these people don't get it, bro. I don't know what it is with these people. They need to, they need to like, screenshot it and put it on a damn uh, refrigerator or something. Soul. Just for the people who might be confused in the back, soul means one. Soul means one entity. It means everything is in that thing, right? So if somebody says, I got one soul bank account, That means everything they got is in that bank account, right? So when they say father shall have soul, and I'm only, listen, I know a lot of y'all probably like, bro, don't talk to me like I'm stupid. But I mean, somebody don't get it. Like they, I mean, there's people who legitimately think that they, that I don't have custody. They think that they are in the right by denying me my kids. Like when I message them and say, yo, bring me my kids. They think they have a leg to stand on and say, no, you, I don't like how you saying it to me. You need to say it nicer. Or it's been too long. I'm not giving them back. Or whatever reason they got, they think that that's going to stand up in court. And what I want is for y'all to pay attention because we, we're going to see what happened. I explained to the I explained to the commissioner everything that was going on. Oh, wait, this is not the one that applies. This is the one that, that will apply to anybody else that play with me that is not a parent. And the, and the punishment for this is pretty steep. The punishment for this is pretty steep. This one is not as bad. You know what I mean? Because it's a relative. So they, they only gonna, they only gonna punish you to a certain extent. I think it's like five years or something. Like, you can do up to five years for this, or I think it's like, um, it might be two years. I don't know. You can do a couple years for this, or you get a major penalty, a major fine or something like that, and you get probation. I mean, you know, she's already on probation, because you already got a charge. So, you know, of like leaving minors in the house by themselves or something. So, I don't know how they're gonna deal with that, but it's definitely something that, um, that you want to watch. And to my other parents out there, to my other fathers, y'all stay, y'all just stay tuned. Um, Stay tuned. And if you have any questions, concerns, if it's anything I can help with, if we can shoot the shit about what your situation is um, for the betterment of the children. Again, I want to make sure that I'm clear that nothing that I'm doing is about trying to be malicious. You know what I'm saying? I don't want nobody to think I'm trying to be malicious. I didn't... I didn't do this. I didn't do this. I didn't make this happen. You know, you know what I'm saying? I didn't. I didn't make her take my kids from me. I, I'm just. I'm just responding to what happened to me. I wake up every day and my kids not with me, bro. That's not because I asked for somebody else to have them. That's because somebody took them and said, "Bitch, nigga, you ain't getting them." You know what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, I, I didn't ask for this. She made her own bed. Like you know what I'm saying? And the crazy thing about it is, I know her well enough to know. She ain't going to give a fuck anyway. Like, even even if they charge her with this, she's still going to say, I don't give a fuck, nigga. I'm not giving you your kids. Like, that's how she going to care. That's how she always been. Like, you know what I'm saying? So, this ain't really going to do nothing but probably just make her find a more permanent, sneaky way to take them. Like, you know what I'm saying? So, we really got to kind of be careful after this because I don't think that there's going to be a, you know, I don't think they're going to get that. I don't think she's going to get that she lost custody. Like, I don't think she gets that yet. She still thinks, like, no, I got custody. They just plan on that paper. That's just, like, some play shit or something like that. I don't I don't know. It's, I don't know. Somebody got to get it across to her that it's it's serious. Like, that when you, you know, when you cause the damage and harm and psychological abuse you did to your children, like, 
she made my daughter raise my other daughter. Like my, my daughter Journey, she was forced to raise justice. To this day, she has trauma for it. That's a, that's a psychological issue. You cannot, you cannot force a child to raise one. I'm talking about she was being beat and punished anytime justice was late for school. You know what I'm saying? Like she nerves is bad. She calling her, cussing her out if she even do one wrong thing while she leave them in the house by themselves. She leave Journey and Justice in the house by themselves. Justice get into something like her little weed gummies or something like that. And then she beat Journey for it and tell Journey she better make sure Justice don't get into it. Like all that kind of stuff, bro. You know how stressful and traumatizing that is to a child? You know what I'm saying? And she can't even say I'm lying because, again, I'll pull it up on her record if she wants to say I'm lying. She's on probation right now for 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 that, for, for, for leaving children in the house. And the police had to be called because the child was scared and called the police. This is this is why she's in, you know what I'm saying? Like, and, and she was convicted. It's not, it's not, she showed up for trial and was convicted. It's not like this is just people saying stuff. Listen, everybody don't lie, bro. Like, what are you talking about? Everybody just lying? Why, why you got all these charges? Go down her record, bro. It's crazy. Like, you know what I'm saying? You got all these traffic, all these, like, come on, bro. So, like, at the end of the day, at some point, y'all got to stop just, to all of the people who are over there enabling her, just telling her she's perfect, she can't do nothing wrong, there's nothing... Y'all got to stop that. If you really, really love somebody, you have to be honest with them. It's not fair to watch somebody drown. You know what I'm saying? Because all these people that's online talking about, yeah, girl, fuck him. You ain't, you better than him. You the best I've ever seen, blah, blah, blah. Watch none of them show up for court. Watch none of them show up for court. They not going to show up and, 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 and come up on the stand and let my lawyer interview them. Because, because when my lawyer start asking questions, they're going to be, they going to have no answers because they not asking no questions. They don't know nothing. They know they don't want to know nothing. All they want to know is that she right and I'm wrong. That's it. But when you get to court, that don't work like that. When you get to court, you got to actually explain shit. Like you can't just make up lies about people. You know what I'm saying? When you get to court, they're going to ask like, "So why why are you not giving the kids to him?" Because he um I don't know what you're going to say. I don't know. But we'll 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 see. Look at this. Look. Y'all see that? Let me see if I can find this one real quick and I'm going to get out of here, yo. Because like it's 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 honestly it's honestly sad that somebody would think that they could do this. Like I don't even know why you would do that, bro. You lost custody of your children. How dare you? Like you should be ashamed to show your face. You're a mother that lost custody of your children. Like that's horrible. I don't know any mothers that lost custody of their children other than Yeah. Um But uh yeah, I don't have the paper here, but I was gonna show y'all some um I was gonna show y'all something real quick. <laughs> it's all good. We got plenty of time to go over it later. But look, I'm gonna go ahead and jump off here. Oh, what's up, Trish? Trish, you done came in late, man. What's happening? What what you where you was at? Hey Trey, where was you at? Where was you at? I'm not trying to hear it. Where was you where would you where was <laughs> It's like nah nah nah. Um <clears throat> Let me show you, let me show you. Nah, you know, some people, she said what I miss. I'm about to show you right here. I'm about to show you. Watch. She said I was working. How dare you be working? How dare you be working? <laughs> Don't act like you got bills to pay, miss. Excuse me. <laughs> Everything you get is free. I know it. <laughs> now, let me show you. Let me show you, Trish. Let me show you what's propping. So, look, if you go to, and I'm going to show you because I know you are, I know you are, I know you are pretty literate. I know you're pretty, you all right up there. You know what I'm saying? I, I met you once or twice. I know you all right up there. Let me show you something. So look, 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 look. This is the case number, right? This is the case number, right? So just so that you know, you can look this up. D08CR2400 right? So let's look it up, right? Yes, 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 we agree. We're not going to steal nobody. We're not going to do nothing crazy. We're not going to do nothing crazy except for motivate other fathers to get on their shit and stop being deadbeat dads and stop. Y'all know what, you know what irritate me while I'm looking this up? You know what irritate me, bro? A dude that sit around and talk shit about his baby mother, but don't do shit about it. That shit irritate me, bro. They sit there, they, my baby mother give my fucking nerd, my bitch put me on charge for, blah, 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 blah. I can't believe, blah, blah, blah. I'd be like, bro, what? You know you can only get on child support by not being there for your child, right? 
Like, there's no way you would be on child support if you had your kids. Like, it's impossible. Because, obviously, if you're on child support, you don't have them. So you got to get them, bro. You got to get them. And you got to say, I want them more. I don't want you to have them. You got to say, stop raising my kids for me and let me do it. That's what you got to do. If you're not willing to do that, then just pay your child support. You know what I'm saying? Just, just pay your child support and just let her raise the kids. But if you, when you're ready to stand up, I got you. But these are the charges. Yeah. Now, ain't this crazy? Ain't this crazy? After everybody threatening me, talking about I'm lying, I'm making everything up. Ain't that crazy? Ain't that crazy? Yeah, I'm going to scroll into the motherfucking 8-bit dots. Yeah, you're going to see this shit. Fucking tell me I'm fucking... You know what I'm saying? And this is the complaint number. If you call the police station, I can give you the phone number. I, I can give you the phone number that you can use to reach the police records line. And you can give them this complaint number and they will let you get this complaint number. They will only mail it to you though. So you can't, you know what I'm saying? They will only mail it to you. But this complaint number will show you the, the, um, this complaint number will show you what happened when I called the police? For all of my people that like to say, why you didn't just call the police? You must be lying. Because if you, if you would have called the police, they would have gave them to you. Obviously, no. How about that's not true? How about, how about that's not true? And you see it right here because they charged her with abduction. They charged her with two counts of abduction. Did they? Or did they not? Right? So they charged her with two counts of abduction. And they charged her with two counts of detaining a child within the state. You get what I'm saying? So, so, so what's crazy is the fact that they really sat there. You got people trying to attack me, bro, behind what she's saying. Like trying to attack me. Meanwhile, she abducted my children. That's, that's what's, that's what's fucked up. This is how, this is what narcissistic people do. This is how fucked up they are, bro. How you know you you abducting somebody's children? And first of all, I know somebody out there might be like, well, how we know that's true? How we know that's true? Let me tell you something. The commissioner don't the commissioner don't charge this without no evidence. Trust me, because they still fought with me when I went in there, even though I fucking had evidence. So trust me, they 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 don't do this type of shit unless they know for a fact you not lying. And unless they cross their T's and dot their I's, dot their I's and cross their T's, they not charging this, especially not on no woman. Bro, you know how much of a fight they wanted to give me? Because they don't want to charge no woman, let alone no mother with child abduction. But when you abducting children, bro, they have to. That's the thing. That's the thing. They have to. Like, you can't abduct children, bro. Like, even if you're a mother, you can't abduct children. Prove yourself as a valuable mother so that the court can recognize you as one and get your custody. But unfortunately, you lost custody. You lost your rights of your children. The things you were doing were unacceptable and you, you had them taken from you. So evaluate your actions. Think about why. Why your children were taken from you. Think about that. Stop trying to focus on destroying everything around you. Like, you know what I'm saying? Stop trying to focus on just... Crushing everything that dares say anything to you, you narcissistic prick. You have to sit and take a second and realize you are less than perfect. There are things that you have done wrong and it's okay. You know what I'm saying? You don't have to act like, <gasps> because you do something wrong, we all make mistakes. It's not about what you do wrong, it's about how you deal with it. See, everybody makes mistakes, but only certain people are willing to admit them, grow and become stronger from it. Some people make mistakes and then they hold themselves there and punish themselves for it their whole life. I did this. I can't believe I did this. Oh, man, I did this. They mad at me because I did this. Oh, they did this. Don't say that to me. I did this. You know, you can't even say nothing to them because they so hurt behind what they did that they haven't moved on that they think you talking to them about that. Some people really have that problem. And this builds narcissistic people. Now, parents do this shit to children. Parents cause this shit and do this shit to their children because what they'll do is they'll punish the child if the child tells the truth. So what happens is the child doesn't want to tell the truth. The brain, the physiology doesn't even work like that. Like if you tell somebody what color is the sky, they're going to say blue. But if you say what color is the sky, they say blue and you slap them. And they're like, the hell? You say what color is the sky, they say blue. You say you slap them. And then you say... What color is the sky? And they say red. And then you go, all right, get out of here. If you do that enough, they're going to believe the sky red. 
not because they really believe it's red, but because they know you're going to slap them if they say it's blue. So they don't even really associate with that. They they wondering why the fuck do people even say the sky blue? Why would you say that? You're going to get slapped. You know what I'm saying? They have to be shown. And what has to happen with my children, because my children's mother is a bully. She is a big bully. She bullies my daughter. She done punched my daughters in the chest multiple times. She done put her hands on my daughters. She done kicked my daughter out the car and said, you ain't my fucking daughter no more. My daughter done caught me crying while she banging my other daughter head on the thing because she won't listen to it. Like, you know what I'm saying? My, my, my baby mother is a bully. So because of this, the, the children are going to... The children are going to react. They're going to do whatever they feel they have to do. You know what I'm saying? They're going to do whatever they feel they have to do. You know? And in this case, it's, 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 it's make her feel like they are appeasing her by um, being up on this man. You know, this man that they're calling daddy and saying is their daddy. Before she was with him, it was a guy named Brad. He was also military. She tried to take my kids and put them in military school behind him. Luckily, the only reason that worked out was because what? Look, 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 you know why she wasn't able to, my kids know who Brad is. Look, and Brad was military too. She was trying to use that nigga and take him for all his money. Brad wasn't stupid though. Brad said, nah, get the fuck out of here. And I think she probably started cheating on Brad with yo. But that's none of my business. What I'm saying is at the end of the day, when she was with Brad, she tried to put my kids in, she tried to put my kids in a military school and shit. And guess how I got them out of it? Because I had sole legal custody. You know what I'm saying? This is why she was not able to put them in, in, in military school. And my daughter, my daughter did not want to go to military school. And then she started trying to convince my daughter to go. Like, first my daughter told me she didn't want to go. Then next thing I know she wanted to. This is how I know that my, my daughter's mother is very manipulative and does things to the children. Because anytime the children tell me what they feel, when they come back from being with her, they deny it. Like, for instance... My daughter, my daughter clung to me like this and said, Daddy, I don't want to live with mommy. Please don't make me live with mommy. I said, you don't got to live with your mother. I got soul custody. What the fuck are you talking about? You don't got to go with her, right? She took my daughter anyway, sent me a message. She literally sent me a message and said, I talked to Journey. She coming with me. Now, how does that equate to I gave the kids to her and said I was broke and can't take care of them? We got a whole, do y'all know how stupid she going to look in court? I got a whole email argument in the email chain. I'll show y'all. Whole email chain where we was arguing back and forth with each other because I was telling her she a bad mother. I was telling her like, yo, you lost your kids, bro. Why do you think kids should go with you? Like, it's like, it's like somebody, like, I don't even get this shit. Like, bro, why do you still have the decency to be like, I'm a great mom? Like, what do you tell you? lost your kids. Not only did you lose your kids, you pretended it didn't happen. And like try to act like it didn't happen. It'd be something different if you lose your kids and then you like realize what you did wrong. You stand on it. You say I'm a better person now and I want to be better. But you lost your kids and then said I ain't do nothing wrong. <laughs> Whatever. And took them again. <laughs> like what the fuck? The fuck are we talking about? Like what? Like who the fuck? I don't even know, bro. I don't know. I don't know who the fuck is thinking. I don't know who's over there. Like you know, since somebody needs to get like. You know, mom or like a grandma or like somebody with some brains, bro. Not none of these little young, dumb hotheads. That's what it is. Like she probably sitting in a room with a bunch of young, dumb hotheads that just want to fight and just want to beat people up and just want to, you know, be dumb. Like, you know what I'm saying? But sit with somebody with a mature brain, somebody who's a real man. They're going to look and be like, why you want this drama for yourself? What are you doing this for? That man loves his kids. Just let him see his kids. <laughs> no, because he thinking. What? What are you talking about? What? You think he going to hurt him? I watched the nigga. The nigga didn't seem like it. Why you, why you don't ask him? You know, why you don't tell him that you think he going to hit him and see what he say? Because cause you know the shit a lie. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, people who want to cause drama and shit, they don't want peace. Like, you can tell because when you offer them a peaceful solution, they they make a problem. Like Like, for instance, right? When I was supposed to go get my daughters, and I can show y'all the messages. Um, this was May 4th of 2023. When I was supposed to go get my daughters, I messaged my baby mother and told her, bring me my daughters. She said, if I come, I'm coming with CPS and I'm coming with the police because you broke anyway and you ain't got no matter. I said, bring them. No problem. Bring me my daughters. Then she goes, no, I ain't bringing them. You come get them from me. 
I said, I'm not coming to get them from you. And mind you, everything I'm telling y'all is in writing. In writing. She wrote down and swore under penalty of perjury that I gave the children to her and told her that I was broken, couldn't take care of them. She said that under oath. She wrote that under oath and swore to that, that that was true. But me and her, this is what happened. I told, I said, bring them to me. She said, no, um, you come get them. First, she said yes. Then she said no. She only said yes because she thought I was going to be scared because she said she was calling CPS. I don't care. I, you know what I'm saying? I'm open with mine. I work with CPS and, and, and try to become a better father with them. What are you talking about? I'm not the type of nigga that's going to, fuck you I'm not argumentative and violent and, and aggressive. I'm going to work with CPS and be like, okay, what things do you guys think I should do to be a better father? Okay, I'm going to check in with y'all next week, make sure we get it done, boom, boom, boom. <laughs> what are you talking about? You ain't going to hurt me. I'm trying to be a good dad. But at the end of the day, she was like, no, you come here. So I said, let's meet at the precinct. I said, let's meet at White Marsh Precinct because that's where we was ordered to meet at because she got me attacked with the she got me attacked by her brother who was charged with second degree assault. Right. See how long her record is. bro. when we go to court, they're going to be like, bro, what the fuck? You got probation for leaving kids in the house, neglecting them. You got your brother then then, then jumped you then beat up the nigga. You know what I'm saying? You got you done kept the kids away. You got a you got abduction charges. You get you got all these traffic charges. Then you got other shit like, what? come on, man. And then you over here. He, he, uh, he, he don't need the kids because he dumb and he broke. Mind you, you don't have no house in your name. You got an email that you sent me telling me that you were sleeping in a spare room that that nigga gave you before, before y'all was even together. I found that email today because <laughs> I be just, look, I be just going through our old emails trying to find all of these ways that she lied. Like, I be like, yo, look at, look at this shit right here where she said this. So she, she, look, her whole argument to me, I wish I had that email in front of me. Let me ask God this way I said I'll show it to y'all. The whole, the whole, the whole basis of what she's saying, she keeping the kids from me because I was evicted. When she was evicted and was staying in a spare room that a, a nigga that she wasn't even with was letting her stay in. And I still allowed her to see my daughters on the weekend. I still never kept them from her. So you know how bad that make you look in court? You, you standing on the fact, you going hard. Huh, he evicted, he can't see his kids. But you was just evicted right before that and he let you see him. You just look real bad. Matter of fact, you look like what you are. You look like what you are, an evil, narcissistic person. Like, you just somebody who want to cause pain and, and destruction for everybody. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, she's just so destructive, bro. Like, just, you know what I'm saying? You said the difference between a mature adult. Yeah, like, you know what I'm saying? You, and at the end of the day, I'm so, listen, I, I just can't wait for this to be over because this whole thing feels like when you in school, and like a bully knock your shit off the desk. And then you go, yo, why you knock that off my desk? And then the teacher say, both of y'all go to the office. And now you sitting in the principal's office having to explain to the principal why it's your fault that a nigga came over to your desk and knocked your book off your desk. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's how I feel when we go to court. Like, why am I here? Nigga, all I do is raise my children. I've never done nothing other than just raise my children. I don't play games with this girl. She started doing this shit once I met Danielle. Like, if we want to... Listen... I don't like to say what it is because I don't want to stir up no emotions because I know at the end of the day, like, niggas get in their feelings because they weak. But, you know, at the end of the day, this this comes down to the fact that, like, she got mad because I was messing with Danielle. Like, I don't know why she ain't man and woman enough to say it. Like, why she don't just say that? Like, you know what I'm saying? She, 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 as soon as I started messing with Danielle, I stopped messing with her on the side. And y'all know what's crazy? This girl's so crazy that she stalked me, bro. She stalked me and came up my job to the point where there's somebody that used to work at my job that's in this live that know she did. Don't you? Yeah, you know she worked at my job when I was working up the Maryland Health Connection. She got a job up there to stalk me. And when she got the job, she sent me an email as soon as she got the job and said, guess where I work at? I was like, what? Where you work at? She was like, your job. And I was like, yo, stop playing with me, yo. She was like, I do. I was so fucking mad, yo, because I already knew what she was going to do. Come up there and and, and, and let that reputation go. And, and yes, it did. Because it got back to me about them weekend parties. It got back to me what she was doing. And that's exactly why I didn't want nobody to know I knew her, bro. Like, you know how much I try to hide that shit? People try to tell me, you still attracted to her. You still like her. Blah, 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 blah. And I said, yo, what is you talking about? Why do y'all think I like her? Shorty, shorty wild. And like, I don't like shorty. You know what I'm saying? And tried to get me fired. <laughs> Look, that's crazy. I didn't even know that. Look, 
I want y'all to know I'm not going to give no names, but there's somebody I know who worked at my job at Maryland Health Connection who also knows that my baby mother got a job up there. And the reason she got a job up there was to stalk me. That's 100%. Right before that, me and her had a whole thing. She had chased me down with a car because I was in a movie theater with this other girl named Jasmine. And she was really upset with that. Like, she literally followed me off the highway, chased me down, was jumping on the car, trying to fight me, all this other stuff. She punched me in my mouth, all that. Like, my man Locke was there. He was there. And my ex-girlfriend was there. And her homegirl was there. Lady. You know what I'm saying? It was it was five of us. So, you know, uh, I mean, it was it was me, Locke, Jasmine, Lady. Well, and, and counting my baby mother, it was five of us. But, but after that, like, she she was trying to follow me to find out where I was going. Like, she wild, bro. And the crazy thing is, I really didn't realize Shorty really crazy. Like, <laughs> you know, I didn't realize that. Like, I didn't realize that until now. Like, I'm realizing, like, Shorty is really crazy, yo. Like, I ain't never stalk her. I ain't never act like that. Only thing I ever did was get mad because she kept cheating on me. That's the only reason we didn't work. Like, she kept cheating on me. Like, over and over again, bro. She cheated on me May 10th of 2009. I mean, uh, May 10th of 2010. When my daughter was about eight months old, nine months old, my daughter was born nine one oh nine. She cheated on me May May tenth of two thousand ten. And I and I spazzed, I was upset about it, you know what I'm saying? She went out to a, a party and got drunk and then went over to some nigga house and then came back and lied to me and said she was somewhere else. You know, whatever. I left it alone. But it is what it is. I left, but I actually came back to her. That's what's crazy about this shit, bro. I actually came back to her and I apologized because I was like, yo, I just want us to work for Journey. Like, at the end of the day, I just want us to be together for Journey. That's that's all I wanted, you know what I'm saying? Because I told her before we had babies that, like, I would never want my children to grow up without a father. So I came back to her. Do you know I came back to her? This was in 2010. She cheated on me again. Like, she, she literally asked me to watch Journey for her one day. I came all the way over there to watch her. And then she told me she was going to Fridays with her homegirls. And she really went over the nigga house that she cheated on me with. Then came back and told me that she only went over there to tell him that they wasn't messing with each other no more. Mind you, she was over there for three hours. So, like, this is what I'm saying. Like, this is what I had to keep going through. But I still, I was being stupid. You know what I'm saying? I was being stupid. But I still was trying to just be there for Journey, right? But then I ended up getting another girlfriend. That's when I started messing with the girl Jasmine. I was also messing with this girl named Debbie um, as well. But... That was that was before, but and that didn't last too long. But I was messing with Jasmine for about a year or so. When I was messing with Jasmine, like she she started like trying to get on my good side and started trying to like, oh wait, you know. And then me and Jasmine ended up having a falling out, and that's how justice came. That's how we had justice. Me and me and me and um Jasmine had a falling out, right? And she kind of snuck in there, like. She would call me every day and be like, hey, you know me and Journey would like to see you. And I would be like, all right, yo. And she would come over there. And my lights was off because when Jasmine left me, she she turned the lights out. And the, the BGE was in her name. The, the apartment was in my name, but the BGE was in her name. So she had the lights out in my house. I had nowhere to go. So, like, I was just sitting in there with no lights. And she came over there. There's a video. Listen, let me show y'all how much I'm not lying. There's a video on YouTube right now. If you go to my YouTube page, type in My Heart Journey. It's a video. I swear on everything, that day is the day that justice was conceived. Because we wasn't intimate or nothing until that. Like that, you know what I'm saying? That's when justice was conceived. Literally, that video we was playing. I think she was playing with Journey in the video. Journey was probably maybe three, three years old. She was playing with Journey. And we was in the house with no lights. I ain't had no hot water and all of that. And she was there. And it made me feel like, yo, our family can work again. You know what I'm saying? And I gave it another shot, bro. And she got pregnant. And then we had justice on February 9th of 2013. And I was so excited, you know. And um, she cheated on me. <laughs> Not even three months past May, she cheated on me. And the crazy thing was she kept asking me to marry her. And I said, bro, I will have no problem with marrying you if you could just make it through the summer without cheating on me. This, this is why her friend. So look, I, I could connect all these dots. I'm not no liar. I'll connect all of them. She got a friend named Deandra. She only know Deandra through me. Deandra was my friend. But Deandra ended up being her friend because of what I'm about to tell you. She asked me to marry her. I said, oh, no, she, wa she made it clear that she wanted me to marry her. I said, yo, I will have no problem with marrying you if you can make it through the summer without cheating on me. She got offended. What the fuck is you trying to say? I'm a hoe? What you mean? I said, I'm not trying to say you're a hoe. I'm just saying 
I have never experienced you not cheating on me. Like, I'm just saying, it was always dick pics in her phone. It was always niggas' messages in her phone. It was, yo, I could go grape Charles, like, I, you know, Dre. Like, I, I could go these niggas forever, bro. Like, it, it's niggas. That's why the niggas she with now, you insane. You think she ain't talking about it. Whatever. But anyway, um, at the end of the day, I was just like, yo, can you just stop cheating on me? That was my whole thing. You know what I'm saying? Like, just stop cheating on me, bro. Like, why can't you just stop cheating on me? And I ain't going to put her out there and explain why she told me she cheat. I'm going to leave that alone and have a little bit of dignity and a little bit of respect. All right? But I'm going to let you know she did tell me why she do that. And she did tell me why she why she has sex with men so constantly. You know? Um, I'm not going to go there, though. It is what it is. You know what I'm saying? But I told her, I said, yo, I can't do it. You know what I'm saying? And then we started just kind of like co-parenting. Like, you know what I'm saying? We would exchange the kids, but we was always keeping it intimate. Like, you know what I'm saying? Even my mother was telling me like, nigga, you stupid. Why you keep... That's why it tripped me out that my mother's on her side right now. Like, what the fuck is wrong with my silly ass mother? My mother was the one telling me, Gerald, leave her alone. Even her mother told me I was stupid. Her mother was like, Gerald, leave my fucking daughter alone. Don't you get it? She not gonna fucking do right. Just leave her alone. And I was like... I mean, I, I just swore that maybe I could change. So that's when she moved down to our grandma's house because I put her out of my house when she cheated on me. So when she cheated on me, put her out, she ain't had nowhere to go. Her grandmother let her come there. So she was staying down at 301 Madison, right? See, see, I know everything about her whole life. This is why she don't want me to talk. This is why she want me to be silenced. But when we get to court, everything will come up. But you know what I'm saying? Like this whole thing is a farce. Everything she's telling niggas and lying and leaving stuff out. When she was staying, you know, staying down there became... Oh, no, you good? Yeah. Oh no, no, that's cool. What, you you right? Um, I just I'm in the middle of school on the same too. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's cool. Uh, All right. Yeah, no mm. Yeah. Um. Look, we gotta make a store run, so I'm gonna jump off in a minute. But I just I just want everybody to feel confident in me. You know, I want everybody to feel confident, not me, confident in what the truth is. You know, because there's a lot of people who are just speculating. They don't have full insight. And they just looking at it like, yo, what the fuck? You know, even people on her side, they hearing her say, yeah, this nigga a piece of shit. Fuck that nigga. He ain't never did nothing. A piece of shit ass father. here, a piece of shit. I ain't never seen no broke father like that. Blah, 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 right? And then they coming to my page and they like, this nigga kids look really happy. <laughs> what the fuck? He looks really happy. And all of the family looks really happy. Even when the girls that you have were with him, they all look really happy. So they're like, what the fuck is going on here? But she telling them, yeah, he he fucking ain't, he ain't shit. He don't fucking do nothing. He ain't fucking even, he ain't even fucking do nothing. I don't know what the fuck she over that bitch saying, bro. She's saying some, <laughs> she's saying some old other shit to niggas and they over there eating it up. He what? The nigga ain't do what? What? She even told you in her own email, bro. She even told you, in, she even told it herself on her own post. She made a post where she said, yeah, um, yeah. This nigga, he ain't never asked for his kids. He only asked for his kids two times. And one of the times, he just messaged me and asked me to give him the kids back within 48 hours because he signed them up for school. I'm like, bro, do she know she just admitted to child abduction? Like, what the fuck? Like, shit, you so pressed. You know what I'm saying? Imagine that. You so pressed to be angry and hurt somebody that you admit a crime on live. Like, <laughs> she literally, you know what I'm saying? Or you admit a crime in a post. She, she literally said in a post, that I have someone else's children who they have rights over. They asked me for them within 48 hours. And I told them no. I appreciate you, Trish. She said, just proud of you for never giving up. Yeah, you know, and it's crazy because everybody tried to get me to. Everybody tried to get me to, Trish. My own family, all of that. Even even certain people now that to, that, that to this day be like, hey, bro, how you doing? I'm glad you got your daughters. You know, those same people told me to stop. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's people now that smile in my face. Hey, Jerry, I love you and the kids. Those same people told me to stop. Even now, what I'm doing to this point that got her charged is people to this day telling me to stop. I actually got into a beef with a cousin of mine. I got a cousin of mine named Tony. Me and my cousin Tony recently had it out. And that's crazy because we was cool. We always was cool. And we had it out recently because he claimed, I'm doing too much. I need to just leave her alone. Why am I doing so much, right? Because his brain is still in that mindset of men not mattering. See, he's a part of that generation where they told you, nigga, shut up, go get a job and pay the bills and shut your dumb ass up while I raise the kids. 
We past that now. I'm past that now. I'm a whole dad. You feel me? I'm a whole dad. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm a whole dad, shorty. You know what that mean? That mean you can put your little shoes on and you can go that way. And I got them, shorty. Whole dad. Ain't no ain't no calling you. I, hey, um, well, how we gonna get the, I mean, I'm, 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 her nose. I mean, she need a butt change, bro. I mean, I mean, she in here crying. You know what I'm saying? Ain't none of that from me. I'm a whole dad, shorty. Whole dad. You know what I'm saying? That mean you make babies with me, I got them, shorty. I got them. You make a baby with me, I got them. You know what I'm saying? We got them. We got them. You feel know I me? Mean? And I'm there for you wholeheartedly. Ask any of my... I was going to say ask any of my baby mothers. Like, I got a lot of them. I got two. One of them going to tell you that I ain't never did nothing for my children since they was born and I'm a piece of shit ass nigga. But the other one going to tell you that I'm the best man she's ever met. You know what I'm saying? Um, and I would say the same thing about her. You know, she's... An amazingly beautiful person. How long is this live, bro? I'm almost at an hour. Am I at an hour yet? I'm gonna go ahead and jump out of here, y'all. Yeah, I'm at an hour 15. Look, y'all remember to be positive. Be optimistic. Keep positive people in your circles. Those three things are key to ensuring positivity is invited in your future. I love everybody who is in support of what's going on. Um, remember to follow me at Jagan the Paralegal because I'm gonna be going over there with a lot of the stuff that has to do with family law, and other laws as well as I'm going into my paralegal side of my new alter ego, right? Um, but yeah, all right. I love y'all. I'm out.